Hello, freaks and freethinkers. Welcome to a very special episode of Radio Ghost Town. I'm your host, Deep Amber, and tonight we finally air the footage from our interview with longtime friend of the show and frequent caller, Crazy Carl, recorded earlier this year. Measures were taken to protect his identity, including our not bringing any technology to the meeting that was produced after the advent of the microchip. What you're about to see has been digitized for your viewing pleasure. Let's play the video, Travis. See you on the other side, freaks and freethinkers. Crazy Carl, thank you so much for meeting with us. Don't, don't mention it. So you dropped a lot of interesting hints on our phone call. Um, let's start with Universe 25. I looked it up online. It's a, the mouse utopia that devolved and eroded degeneracy and cannibalism. If you look something up online, you're, you're just not getting the story. You're getting the spin. Mm -hmm. This is Universe 25. We're the mice. We're living it. Modernity is the experiment, and for, for them, it's a success. Uh, you're, you're not espousing simulation theory, are you, Carl? Because that's a bunch of hooey. This isn't a simulation or a theory. It's an experiment, and it's entering its final phase. The sun is setting on hope. What does that mean, Carl? It means they've had their fingers in all the pies. All, all the pies. You think your pies are open source, organic, and free range, but no, the bakery's contaminated, and the garden, and the cows, and-, uh, on, and on the phone, on the phone, you said um, we were feeding them. Uh, would that be pie related? No, 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 we eat the pies. They feed off of, of other things. Don't you see? You're making it worse. I'm making it worse? Not, not just you. You're, you're a smart lady, Deep Amber, but the free thinkers can't build on the foundations of past generations because the foundation isn't there. Lies, lies everywhere. It's all deception. You're not about to tell me that the earth is really flat, are you, Crazy Carl? Carl, you're not, are you? How long have they been lying to us? I don't know. No one does. That's the problem. The Earth isn't flat, Carl. Do you know that because you've been told it? I know it because of how ham radios work and the equinoxes <laughs> and... Okay, just, just checking, Deep Amber. Don't blow a gasket. Most people don't know why they think anything. They can't tell their own thoughts from the ones they've been given. Uh, what do you mean with those uh, NSA remote neural monitoring electronic brain link things that beam thoughts directly into your brain? Do you believe in those? I didn't when I got up this morning. Well, they don't need them anyway. I'm talking tech more ancient than ancient. Mm -hmm. Truthers are talking Nazis, and they should be talking Nimrod. So <clears throat> they use ancient technologies for mass market mind control? It's bigger than that. It's alchemical, hypnotical, metaphysical. Remember the pies. The pie metaphor really isn't helping me, Carl. It's not your fault. Everything you know you've learned under their control, hidden influence. Lies like grains of sand. It's it's not it's not your fault, Deep Amber. Hold on, Carl, now just take a breath. From the from the Smithsonian scooping up the bones to the first TV program to well, what about FDR and and Brent Weinsdorf, Germany? If you're talking about secret societies. Wait, wait, wait. Did you say Rinsvine That's door? not Travis. Okay, take it easy. He's my security guy. You can call him Cornball. No, he cannot. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting this. Okay, I trust him with my life, Carl. You're trusting him with mine. He's family. Are you, are you family, Cornball? Since the day she was born. You can call me Neil. Great, crazy Carl. Good, good to know you. Good. So, uh, to get back on topic, are you talking about secret societies? Are you? If you are, then you're regressing. They, they sprinkle tares in among the wheat so the two grow together. Okay, if you're not talking secret societies, Crazy Carl, are you talking about the serpent? I didn't know you were a believer. 
it's not about believing. Truth is truth. It's not faith, it's just admitting facts. Truly scientific advancements came to us through theists who believed in a created universe. But with the Renaissance, they have returned to an ancient lie. Rebranded from modern minds, they are always at work. Small, small movements, tiny, tiny adjustments, the, the, the turn of a screw. We obviously share a supernatural worldview, Crazy Carl, but I'm still not sure we're on the same page. I say the devil's a liar and the father of it, but when you say... There are lies built into the fabric of, of everything we know, like corrupted source code. It's become impossible to trace the, the, the prime error. Impossible to correct course. Uh, people don't know how to defend themselves. Game over, they win. Who are they, Carl? Today they call themselves aliens. Yesterday they called themselves something else. I don't think I'm comfortable with the inverted Crowley quote, Carl. And besides, I don't do aliens. I don't do aliens and I don't do Bigfoot. I tried, but it's just too silly. I, I, I didn't say they were aliens. Don't get distracted by buzzwords. What matters is they're here and, and they're in everything and destroying us from the inside. The, the free thinkers are under attack and they don't even know it. And they are sharing their ancient technologies with the powers that be to, to beam thoughts into our collective unconscious. There it is, programmed response. Always the same, scoffing, arrogant, irrationally spiteful, forced termination in the exchange of ideas. I don't like this, Carl. I don't like being called irrational. Some would say I'm the most rational person in this room right now. Defensiveness. Com compulsive need to protect programming. Think about it. Why do silly ideas elicit violent reactions? The mind, mind quarantines itself. Why? What are you afraid of? Some things are just so, uh out of left field that they're offensive to rational thought. Uh, an extreme reaction is involuntary because- Because! I don't know, Carl. Is that what you want me to say? You'll have to live up to your name, Deep Amber. The truth or movement isn't the only thing seated with terrors. You have to re rethink everything or they're still doing your thinking for you. Okay, crazy Carl. Um... <sighs> They come against you in, in, in dreams sometimes. It, it's hard to protect your mind when it's asleep. They use that against us. Our sleep? Our humanity! You gotta keep going, Deep Amber. This, the Serpent Whispers was, was a good good start. Uh, uh, time to go. You, you might make it, Deep Amber. Maybe soon we'll know for sure. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be in touch. Ask yourself, how, how, long, how long have they been lying to us? Crazy Carl. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. That's Matthew 24. The same discourse is recorded in Mark as well, and in both instances, we're warned against deception. The book of Revelation speaks of a great delusion that will overtake mankind, and 2 Thessalonians prefaces a discourse on the end of the age with, take heed that no man deceive you. Since the interview with Crazy Carl, I've had troubles of my own, but in moments of quiet reflection, I can't shake the feeling. It's more than a feeling. What if the coming great deception isn't coming? What if it's been here all along? We'll talk soon, freaks and free thinkers. Until then, for the record, Satan is alive and active in the world today. He is your mortal enemy with just one goal, to destroy you body and soul. The good news is we have a champion. His name is Jesus. Jesus is the only way to God, and the Bible is our only source for absolute truth. Together, they're our only hope for salvation. I'm Deep Amber, and this is Radio Ghost Town.
God is a shield for those who trust in him. So do not be moved by fear, but rather by faith in God and his word. And don't believe the lies. At Fly by Light Media, we choose freedom over comfort and truth over popularity. We hope you will too. And you can get these cool Radio Ghost Town tees and mugs through the link in the description. And be sure to watch more videos. Together, we, we are Fly by Light Media and we rise to shine. shine.